See, I did a video 11 months ago talking about Malika Andrews and I had exposed her relationship with Dave McMenamin. And I even said in that video, that's the reason why she took that Emmy Yadoka situation to the heart and she took it so serious. And that's why she had pressed Stephen A. Smith at the time about that situation. And I said, it's clear as day, the reason why Malika Andrews was acting like that was because she has a workplace relationship. So it was like it was hitting home for her and she took that situation personal. And that's why she was on this full feminist campaign to stop Emmy Yadoka from getting another coaching job in the NBA. And that's the reason why she was acting like that, man. Like She was really taking that situation serious. She even tried to confront Kendrick Perkins about some comments he had made when Kendrick Perkins was asking about the name of the subordinate in that situation. And yeah, man, Malika Andrews, she was just on that full campaign of stopping Emmy Yadoka from having another coaching job and just pretty much slander Emmy Yadoka's name. So TMZ just confirmed that Dave is her husband. And you can see right here in the report, it says that Dave is her fiance. And speaking of the restraining order, let's get into that in today's video because I'm pretty sure that's the reason why you clicked on this video. So yeah, I want to talk to you guys about the restraining order. So yeah, Malika Andrews is saying that this man has been terrorizing her and other ESPN personalities, including Stephen A. Smith. And apparently Malika Andrews started to fear for her life. And that's the reason why she filed a restraining order against that guy last week. According to the report that TMZ had reported about, it said that this 41 year old man, a New Jersey resident, is a guy who has made her and some of her colleagues a living hell for much of the past year. Malika Andrews is saying he initially started messaging her September 2022 on Twitter, now known as X. And while at first it seemed like actions from just an overzealous fan, it turned into threatening and harassing behavior. Here's some of the alleged messages right here. You guys can go check that out. Screenshot it while I continue to give you guys this report. So Malika Andrews is saying that his behavior grew even more disturbing when somehow he got a hold of her unlisted phone number over the summer and called her numerous of times. And Malika Andrews is also claiming that this guy had did the same thing to Stephen A. Smith and Molly Kiram. Malika Andrews said he was actually arrested in August for allegedly showing up at Molly Kiram's Connecticut home unannounced. Now, Malika Andrews, it says right here in her temporary restraining order request, she also noted that the guy had recently traveled to ESPN Los Angeles facility looking to contact her, Stephen A. Smith and Molly Kiram, causing her to fear for her safety. And she asked the judge for him to stay at least 100 yards away from her and others, including Smith and her fiance, ESPN reporter Dave McMenamin. As you can see, TMZ just exposed and revealed that Dave McMenamin is her fiance. So a lot of you guys who sat there and tried to cake for this woman who's sitting here bashing black men. But you see, she don't have that smoke for some of these white players who's out here doing some of this stuff not reporting on some of the WNBA domestic issues like I have reported on my video. I got a shorts video right now that's currently going viral. But yeah, man, a lot of people were sending me this article. Salute to FC The Truth. He was the one who had sent me this article first. And in my opinion, I think Malika Andrews is doing this for attention. And the reason why I say that is because it was also reported that he was stalking Miley Kiram, showing up to Miley Kiram's Connecticut home unannounced, doing the same thing to Stephen A. Smith and other ESPN personalities. But Malika Andrews is the only one to file a restraining order. And we all know, man, restraining orders can just sometimes pretty much just be useless. So I think Malika Andrews just wanted attention. Why? Because her name has not been ringing bells lately. You see, I really haven't been doing videos on her. Other YouTube channels that cover Malika Andrews haven't been doing videos on her. And I think Malika Andrews likes the attention. And that's just my opinion. So, yeah, with that being said, get in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts about Malika Andrews filing a restraining order. Hit that like button if you made it this far in the video. Don't forget to subscribe up as well. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. And we out, guys. Peace.